PCI stands for Payment Card Industry. It's the overarching organization that controls the protection of payment data related to, to any aspect of payments that you can think of. When companies enter into a merchant agreement to be able to accept credit cards for payment transactions, uh, that agreement says in there that they must, must maintain PCI DSS, data security standards, compliance with that at all times. In that same contract, <laughs> there's also fines built into it to indicate how much they would have to pay if they're found to be not compliant for uh, reasons of just not proving the compliance. There's also stakes for if they don't follow the standards and a breach happens, then they will be fined as well as a result of that breach. So there's a financial penalty to it. The other aspect to it is if that breach becomes public knowledge, which a lot of them do, there's that reputational damage and companies have gone out of business as a result of not following the standards, getting breached, and then being driven out of business ultimately. The perspective it, most companies need to think about is that you're being entrusted with somebody else's data. If I'm using your credit card information, your data, then um, I'm being entrusted with that information. The PCI DSS specifically is broken up into uh, 12 different domains and what they need to do uh, encompasses every aspect of anything to do with the information. So there's components related to the company's network environment, company, uh, components related to the people that access the data, to how the employees get hired, to how the systems that are used to store or process or transmit that data are protected. So things like door locks and badge readers, if companies write their own applications as part of running their business, then there's uh, requirements for protecting that application data. And then in the worst case scenario, they have to have procedures in place for how to respond if that breach does occur, what are they gonna do and how they're gonna protect themselves. So it runs the entire gamut of pretty much how a company operates. A big component for any standards-based assessment, whether it's PCI or some other regulation, is being measured against what it is you as a company have established to be those requirements, and then the assessors coming in and measuring your compliance to that. So what do you say you're supposed to do versus what you're actually are doing should be in alignment with each other, and they need to make sure that they have actually have put a stake in the ground, so to say, and, and stated what they're supposed to be doing to show compliance. So an organization could ask themselves, do I even know what my obligations are under PCI? For a lot of companies, there is a disconnect between the people that are responsible for ensuring that compliance and the people that are responsible for reporting the compliance. And what I mean by that is because the merchant services are typically a financial function, companies will have their financial, their accounts receivable, payables, financial folks, one with the relationship and that message about what the requirements are and what they need to do aren't necessarily being passed down to the technical folks and the other business folks that need to maintain compliance. So that's one thing, is just knowing what do I need to do to be compliant. The other aspect is, am I compliant? Am I doing the things that need to be done? And there's two mentalities that I see out there. One is a, I'm gonna call it check the box mentality, where companies are trying to do the bare minimum that's required just to meet the compliance and then the companies that embrace it and use that as a way to drive compliance throughout the organization, maybe even beyond what is required by the standard.